In the year 2020, the commissioning of an artwork by Michael Anthony Jones is significant. Jones's abstractions cover a vast array of subject matter and have timeless appeal. I'm Michael Anthony Jones, and I'm a contemporary abstract artist. Started art when I was younger as a kid drawing around five years old. And I was always encouraged by my mom to uh, do what I want, do what I feel, do what I like in art. I've uh, started creating uh, collages maybe 20 years ago through uh, my um, extensive work with photography. And I shot around the city. I did a lot of city, inner city things with my photography and it led me to create different things. When I printed out my photographs, um, I uh, started cutting them with scissors and I cut them up. And the old ones that I used to cut up, I started painting over top of them. Started blending them in with paint. Started using uh, different tools to scrape against the paint with the photos in the paint and that created a like a a, 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 a montage or collage and a, a, a amalgamation of a, 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 a abstract look and um, it, it felt good to me it was like a, a different feeling and it felt natural so that evolved into me painting and uh, creating more uh, uh, art in, in the way that I see it and the way that I feel inside. And I also feel and I know that my imagination creates reality. Like, you know, I know that in my imagination, my work comes out. Every time I imagine, the art flows. Like, it's like I do a thought and then the act happens almost simultaneously. I'm thinking and drawing at the same time. That's, that's how it comes to me. That's how naturally it comes to me. We always are imagining, sleep or awake. Of the many benefits collecting art provides, collecting art for the diversification of your wealth portfolio cannot be understated. More and more young art collectors are beginning to understand this. Hi, my name is Kareem Montgomery, and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Just graduated from the University of Maryland College Park with my master's in business, and I'm a fan of art. I'm Julian Lin, 23 years old. Um, I grew up playing a variety of different sports, football, basketball, lacrosse, even ran track for a time. Um, I grew up working on cars. My father had a couple of dealerships he worked at. Then we ended up opening an automotive shop and I've been doing that. But something else that's always, always been in my life is art. Um, my aunt's an artist, my brother's an artist. We grew up next to a few artists. So having their work in my house was something I've always been kind of accustomed to. Art diversifies my wealth portfolio by just having a different tangible asset that uh, didn't before. Um, I recently purchased a house, and obviously in that piece of property is tangible, but just adding this, you know, this piece, uh, I'm not really sure what the piece is yet, but adding this piece will be good, not only for me, I'm still young, but, you know, children, family, it will keep it in there, and it's something that you can move around, and it's, uh, it's not just for me, it's for, it's, you know, for all my friends, family, and just keep it in our circle. Art is a lot of money. Art is, it grows in money. It grows just like a stock does. It grows just like gold does in value. So being able to keep a great piece of artwork is always nice because you get something nice to look at that's also gonna look good in your bank account. Kareem and Julian are commissioning a piece from the Black Collection. I think the first thing I do, I would, I would paint the picture, like what was, what was going on in my life? Right. Like what made me want to get into this? And you can also do that, you know, a large perspective what was going on in the world at the time. Mm -hmm. So that's how I look at it, I say, all right, what's going on in the world? What was I going through? I'll, I'll paint that picture. And then, you know, when I pass it down, mm -hmm. you know, 
this is gonna be obviously they gonna know the background history of it. Right. But then it's gonna be very different from when they have it. Mm-hmm. When they can do the same thing, but what's going on? You know, obviously it's something that happened in my family in 2020, but now what's going on in my life right now? now, now. 20, yeah. four, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, the kids yeah, coming, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. that happened. Yeah. As now and them, and then you know, it just keeps that same story with it. And then you just start building stories, legacy, family legacy, just building stories off of that. So that's, sure. that's what I look at. She's sure. right there. Sure, we're going to grow with it. Yeah. That's definitely growth. I feel like for me, you know, you spoke about how in 2020 is commissioned now, you made it now. And we're here in 2020, and we know everything kind of crazy that's been going on, whether it's from the coronavirus or all of the racial unrest that we've seen in this country. And you know, you see that piece and you're gonna be able to look at it and reflect on the time when you got it and then be able to tell the story again of what was going on in the world and maybe that'll reflect in the art because you as the artist, like I'm sure your emotions and what your daily life is going on is gonna be reflected in the piece. Mm-hmm. So just being being able to kind of look at it from that instance of you as the artist and you created this and and then maybe like 15 years later, you know, you have another piece and then you can compare them and then you see like, really like how you have grown as a person, as an artist, how your your emotions have changed, how you kind of, how you started to represent yourself and your art has changed over time. I think that's what's gonna be cool to pass down. Mm-hmm. And I mean, us being black men, mm-hmm. you don't necessarily see the representation with black men being artists. So, you know, passing that history on, that's, that's gonna be a very important thing moving forward. And yeah. like that's I, being a part of that is gonna be important to me. No, thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely gonna carry on that tradition. Yeah, yeah, we, we should. That's what we're gonna do. 